I'm getting ready for a stock market crash is an article posted by Yahoo Finance that talks about from weak consumer demand in large markets to high interest rates and ongoing inflation, any number of factors could hurt the economic outlook. Now, a lot of people have been giving their opinion over the past week on the stock market, some of your favorite YouTubers and some analysts, as well as the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad warning of a market crash in the near future. Some of your favorite YouTubers are titling their videos, The Market Crash Has Begun, and in today's video, I think it has to be addressed as to what I think is going to happen because it's the weekend. We finally have time to talk about it and touch on the S&P 500. Where should you put your money? What are you doing with your money? Again, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm going to talk about what I'm doing and what I see with the S&P 500. All I ask you guys to do is hit the like button. It's free. It helps me out. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button and have post notifications on. Let's get into the video. Now, JP Morgan just said it no longer expects a recession this year, despite everything that just happened. In quotes with Hugh, three looking solid we no longer anticipate a recession in this calendar year recession risks are elevated next year but we look for modest subpar growth if inflation doesn't continue to ease more fed hikes and rising odds of a downturn will come back but waning post-pandemic disruptions and waxing supply side developments suggest upside risk as well so despite youtubers saying a market crash is coming despite several things happening in the u.s economy JP Morgan says, listen, it's not going to be a recession this year, at least something that we anticipate. And you have to pay attention to this because it's the largest bank. They go, yeah, there are elevated risks for a recession next year in 2024, but they still look for modest subpar growth. In other words, not a crash, not a correction, just slight growth. Now they say, yeah, two things will affect that. If inflation doesn't continue to ease, this is probably more odds a downturn will come back. But they also say, but waning post-pandemic disruptions, waxing supply development suggests upside risk as well. So there's two things that can affect this to the upside and the downside. Of course, there's two catalysts that can happen and affect the overall market. But in general, they don't see any sort of crash incoming. Now, yeah, the reason we're talking about it is because the SPY got smacked and something that's definitely not helping it is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL, just had their earnings and slid for the third year in a row. Some good, some bad in the earnings, but overall it's down about 5% trading at 181.99. And this is the largest holding in the S&P 500. You can see this big old red candle here on Apple. You can obviously see that this is going to impact the stock market, even though Amazon did good, other stocks did decent. Apple is really going to affect it as that sell-off just took it below $3 trillion, which of course they were the only company that had a $3 trillion market cap. Now there is not any company that has a $3 trillion market cap. Now another thing of course that affected it before we get into the historical data and what's happening with the SPY is the US downgrade in their credit rating. This is probably one of the biggest catalysts. As soon as this happened, as soon as this hit, you saw videos all over talking about how a market crash is right over the horizon coming next week coming the week after, coming the month after, some people talking about October, November, December, and talking about how historically August and September do not look good for the SPY. Now this is historical data, another thing pointing to a sell-off. This is where we are, and every time we hit this level, you can see that there is a very, very harsh sell-off in the charts, whether that be for a longer amount of time, or whether that just be a flash crash to the downside. Now you can also see that we peaked here right around the same time, and this dumped August into September. September before rallying back up mid to late October. You can also see right here, August of 21 sold off into September and then rally back up into October. Same thing back here, August of 2020 sold off into September, rallied back up into October, November. And then of course you had some that were a little late. But let's take a look real quick before we touch on the charts. August to September, negative 4%, negative 9% for the SPY 2022. August, September, plus 2%, minus 4% of 2021. Now we jump into the charts and I'm here to give you my outlook on the SPY currently trading at 446.81. And I'm sorry to break the news to you, but I don't think there's a market crash that is going to happen with the SPY and I'm gonna explain why. This is the S&P 500. I have my drawings brought in. This is the weekly time frame, the weekly charts on the SPY. You can see that we got this big red candle broke down below the channel. It's much more pretty on the daily time frame because that is the charts that I usually use. But this is the start of August and this is the end of September. And this is exactly when the SPY usually has its sell-off, but that does not mean it has a market crash. Now let's take a look historically. I mapped it out from the beginning of August to the end of September every single time. This is what the SPY did 
we had a 19% drop at the peak to the low before rallying back up following that. Same thing back here, we had a 5.81% drop from the peak to the low rallying back up after that. We take a look at 2020 down 10.87% from the peak to the low rallying up after that. Back here, same exact thing, down 4%. Back here, same exact thing, down 20%. However, this one played out a little bit late selling off all the way into mid to late December, followed by a major rally. Okay, so this was a late bloomer here, and this one was also a little bit late, lasted until the end of October. So of course, you can see these sell-offs may differ, but most of the time, they end until the end of September, and if they last, any longer it goes into towards the end of the year but you still don't see anything drastic under 20 percent okay what i think is going to happen with the spy is a correction this is in my opinion i think the s p 500 is going to correct and come back down to a specific level what is that level that i think the spy is going to come down to the last correction back in 2021 from the august september era of sell-offs came back down and bounced right here right around 428.50 rallied back up. The SPY since then, beginning of 2022, of course, sold all the way off. August, September hit, and bang, that was the big rejection at the level that it bounced at back here the same exact month, and the SPY sold off. So in my opinion, we are going to use that as support once again for the SPY. Come down a little bit lower. I think the SPY comes to about 425.50 to 426.50 before getting a bounce and starting to scale back up. I see a little bit of a correction in the S&P 500. I don't see a market crash over the horizon. And you have to be very, very careful because this is exactly where you could get in late and where institutions make money off you. With that being said, I think this is a pretty reasonable outcome for the SPY. This would bring it down 7.52% from the peak. And you can see that these sell-offs range between 4% and 19%, give or take, but usually sit around 4, 5, 9% sell-offs. I think it's a pretty decent projection to say that the SPY is going to come down 7.52% and come back down to that level. That's my outlook on the SPY. I still think we are in a bull market. Look how much the SPY ripped this year. A lot faster than it usually does. The SPY has made some insane, insane gains as well as Apple, as well as a bunch of other stocks. So using this cooldown and these catalysts that are occurring during the cooldown, people just like to push that a market crash is coming. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, another thing I like to look at is Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is holding 29,000 right now, making higher highs and higher lows on the chart. I still think we are in that bull cycle starting early November. I think we're going to be staying in it at least until November of next year. So just keep that in the back of your head. This is my outlook. I think Bitcoin sells off. You're going to see it correlate over to the equities market, but you're not seeing that happen yet with cryptocurrency. If you guys are worried about this, are worried about selling, I'd say look at treasury bonds, look at T-bills. Dollar cost averaging is probably the safest thing that you can possibly do. As for meme stocks and short squeeze plays, some of these have a negative negative beta, not all the time with the S&P 500. So a market correction may cause a problem for adjusting portfolios, but at the same time, may not be a problem for short sellers if they are shorting it down while everyone is putting this fear out that there's a market crash incoming. And before we get into next week, we have a bunch of earnings, Palantir, Disney, Alibaba, Rivian, AMC, of course, if you watch the channel, AMC earnings next week, UPST, Upstart, Lucid, UPS, Plug Power, Mara. There are a ton of earnings happening next week. So make sure you guys are in Discord for these earnings so we can play some of these plays and make money while the market is selling off. You guys will not regret it. I'm in there on the daily we have options trading alerts in there and more we post gains post losses and it's probably one of the cheapest discords you will find on youtube and if you want something that'll pay for your discord use my link download mumu sign up and make a deposit to get up to 15 free stocks each valued up to two thousand dollars per stock plus a share of tesla or expe potentially depending on what you deposit that takes two minutes out of your day and i guarantee that will pay for discord for at least a few years when you sell those stocks not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor but overall guys you let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on the S&P 500, what you think about it, what you think about my price target, what you think about this video and other analysts and YouTubers putting out that a market crash is coming. What are you doing with your money? If you would like to say, help everyone else out in the comments down below. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have post notifications on, share the video. Utter your socks out.